I'm going to do a, just a general walk around and talk about some of the things that are on my mind as we go through here. Uh, here you can see the wires for the headlights and all. So there's a zip tie there. So once the body goes on, those will, those will go to work for the lights. On the uh, wheels and tires, I don't know if you can see it, but this is the size I went with, 245, 45 or 17. There is an 18 inch, but I was worried they'd look a little too modern, so I went with the 17. I had those tires mounted, a discount tire. Uh, I think I bought the tires, uh, I can't remember now online, but the wheels came from Factory 5. Had them mounted down, discount tire, and they put these ridiculously long valve stems on. I didn't notice it when I left the store, but I'll probably eventually change those out just because they bug me. Okay, moving along, we see that um, I've, got the, I've got the side pipes off right now because I was working on the, some panels, but as you can see, I've ran the engine, and so now the chrome header is, has got a little bit of discoloration from the heat. It has a little bit of a copperish tint to it right now. looks okay. This panel is not uh, riveted in completely yet, and then there's a panel that goes here. Those are a couple of things that are done before the body goes on, so I'll get to those. Looking underneath the PCM, the powertrain control module, you can see there's a good bundle of wires there. The, wire, uh, the wires connected to this PCM are longer than, than you need, or at least if you're gonna put your PCM right there. Um, looking at this panel, I'm starting to look at the instructions to install the air conditioner. I see that I'm gonna have to probably do some cutting here, so I might have been better off this one panel here, not putting that on just yet and riveting it down because while it's easy enough to drill out the rivets, all this stuff has that RTV silicone behind it, which uh, I'm sure will make it difficult to get off. Speaking of the RTV silicone, I've gone through about seven tubes of it so far, and I'll need a few more, so just to give you a general idea. Uh, looking at some gaps here, here we have the, uh, the fusible link and the uh, fuse panel for the PCM and then the fuel regulator. So. It all fits in there. The, the, it, it's tight, but the spacing is, uh, is okay. It's gonna work out. Um, this is your high pressure pump for your uh, direct injection, which is new to the Gen 3 Coyote. I should have popped that off before I installed the engine because it was just really close and it actually scratched the aluminum on that side a little bit. It didn't, didn't hurt anything, but I, I suppose I could have damaged the pump. Of course, I only had one helper and that was my son. And, had I had a couple more help while I was putting the engine in, I, I probably could have avoided that, plus the broken uh, starter uh, relay that I, I mentioned in a previous video. Okay, so moving on around, you notice right here I've got no rivets, even though these panels are installed in silicone, and that's because the body's gonna go in here and then some screws. So the places where uh, a joint is gonna be lapped with another joint, I don't put the rivets in. I do clamp it because there is silicone in there, and so I use clamps, I've, I've got, you'll need a bunch of these various kinds of clamps. So I do clamp that down uh, so that the silicone sets and everything, but I don't want a double row of rivets. So same thing here, these panels, there's gonna be another panel that sits here, there where I have the, the Sharpie line uh, after the body goes in and then they're riveted down and I didn't want two layers of rivets in there and certainly don't wanna have to drill them out. So what I did was I clamped that so you can see a little layer of silicone there. So that's nice and snug without the rivets. Then later when I put that other panel and put the rivets in, I will not have two layers of rivets, which, which would add a little gap, which I don't want to do. Uh, the center tunnel, I decided to put rib knots on that so I could remove it. It seems to me that if you ever needed to adjust this park brake, it would be very difficult to do from underneath and can't do it at all from the top. So. Plus, I like the look of the rib nuts, so I put in um, standard spacing, which is uh, three inches when you're going into the tube that, that Factory 5 recommends. I put in a, certainly more rib nuts than it needs, but I like the look of those. I'll probably do a lot of rib, uh, rib nuts in the, uh, these uh, uh, screws on the same screws on the dash just because I like the look of it and give it a little bit of... Uh, unrefined look you know I don't want the car to look too refined I had a, uh, a 2017 Corvette Z06 fantastic car the problem with it was a complete lack of unrefinement <laughs> the car was it was too perfect really nothing you could do to it and I like to tinker so 
uh, I want this one to look more, a little more unrefined, you know, well done, but not, uh, not trying to make it look like a car you could buy down at the showroom. Here I've got a bag over the fuel inlet. Um, the rest of that gets completed when you put the body on, but obviously you don't want the fumes, so I just got a plastic bag uh, taped over that. So moving on around, you can see these are the wires for the, uh, that'll eventually be for the tail lights, uh, license plate light, tail lights, and you, you can see up under here, a lot of people put a trunk there. I may still do that eventually, but I don't know. I kind of like having that space there, and I don't plan on making long trips in this car, so. I mean, it's always nice to have storage, but for now, I, d I don't, it doesn't seem like something I, I care about. Um, this is a vent for the differential. <laughs> I ordered that from the Ford dealer. It took about four or five weeks to come in. It goes down to the differential. I, I'll have to mount it somewhere, but um, for right now, it's just sitting there. Once I get the body on, I'll figure out where I want to put that. Moving on around other things, there are... You know, you do get some scratches on the tube as you as you put this thing together, but uh, I'll touch that up eventually before I put the body on those little marks. These are the seats. So if you order these low back, uh, kind of a more period correct seats, they're leather. Uh, I got them covered, so I apologize you can't see them real well, but well, this is the plastic that came on them. And they're just sitting here. I've, I've, I do have some seat rails here that I'll be putting in so that the seats will be adjustable. Um, there's a look inside of the foot box. Uh, little interest to anybody except for the guys who might be contemplating building one. But that's what that looks like. Um, peering behind the dash. You see, it's not too crowded yet, but I don't have the, uh, the HVAC tubes in there. Uh, defrost uh, vents are there. There'll be tubes there. So it'll get a little more crowded. Um, <laughs> I put this clip here on the side because I kept scratching my arm on that little uh, piece of metal there. Okay, moving on around again, the clearance. Now, the, the gauge on the regulator, I will eventually take that off because some people have reported those gauges leaking. It's difficult to see it anyway, but I will be removing that. Uh, as far as an engine cover, I don't know. I, I don't know about hiding it. I mean, I like the engine. A lot of guys hide it and because they're not, you know, in their mind as pretty as the old push push rod V8s that you could chrome up. and. Uh, you know, I won't argue that. They're not quite as pretty, but I like the mechanical looks. I, I don't know that I will cover that. I'll probably remove these studs that are for the cover and and just leave it. Um, this filter, I'll probably need to turn that uh, and down towards the battery, but for right now, it's, it's up there. I, I don't know if it'll clear the body where it's at right there, so that's why I may have to turn it. Uh, you do still have your auction sensors. You know, you're, you're not... You have no catalytic converters, not required to get it registered here in Colorado, um, but you still have the auction sensor that goes to uh, the PCM. This is a clutch cable. I did go with a manual clutch. I prefer that. I want to keep it as simple as possible. I have not set the alignment yet. Uh, I will be doing that. So, so that's kind of a walk around of where everything's at right now. And... Um, like I mentioned in a previous video, I may not get a lot done the next couple of months because of summer coming and uh, a family trip in the RV and things like that. So um, that's where we're at for now.